uh, in February 2019. Binance Holdings Limited's then Chief Compliance Officer Samuel Lim acknowledged that the cryptocurrency exchange was being used to funnel money to Hamas, explained to a colleague that terrorists normally sent small sums. Uh, Hamas could barely buy an AK-47 with 600 bucks. Uh, the colleague responded in a chat message according to the U.S. Commodity Features Trading Commission's March lawsuit against the world's Dell largest crypto exchange that apparently nonchalant attitude caught up with Binance and its chief executive officer Chan Peng Zhao on Tuesday in announcing $4.3 billion in fines against the company and a guilty plea by Zhao for failing to comply with anti-money laundering laws the U.S. government put Hamas and other terrorist organizations front and center. The broad settlement also resolves the CFTC suit. Uh, Binance enabled a range of illicit actors to transact freely on the platform. Uh, the Treasury Department said in a statement that named Hamas, Al-Qaeda, Palestinian Islamic, Jihad, uh, Islamic, uh, and Navy Mobilism, NMA, uh, the Islamic State, of Iraq and Syria as terrorist organizations um, that received funds through the exchange. Um, uh, you know, Binance's settlement and Zhao's guilty plea come as Hamas is embroiled in a war with Israel sparked by the group's October 7th attacks that killed more than 1,200 people with more than 200 taken hostage. Israel responded by invading Gaza where thousands more have been killed in a press conference, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland said Zhao willfully violated federal law that requires financial institutions to guard against money laundering and terrorist financing. And according to government, Binance failed to report suspicious transactions with terrorists. As part of its settlement, the company will have to file those reports going forward in review of past activity it should have disclosed. This will advance our criminal investigations into malicious cyber activity and terrorism fundraising, including the use of cryptocurrency exchanges to support groups such as Hamas, Garland said, and the Treasury's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network will receive $3.4 billion of the fines paid by Binance, while its Office of Foreign Assets Control will get $968 million. The FinCEN FISA is the largest in that Bureau's history. A number of cryptocurrency entrepreneurs have expressed cavalier attitudes about terrorist or other bad actors using their platforms. Bitmax co-founders Arthur Hayes, Benjamin Dello, and Samuel Reed last year pleaded guilty to willfully failing to implement anti-money laundering and customer identification policies at their crypto derivatives exchange. Uh, former Ethereum Foundation researcher Virgil Griffith uh, was sentenced last year to more than five years in prison for participating in a 2019 blockchain and cryptocurrency conference in North Korea. At the conference, Perfif discussed how North Korean money might be converted into cryptocurrency as a way to evade sanctions. Photos showed him dressed in a North Korean style uniform, standing in front of a whiteboard, on which he drew a smiley face and wrote, no sanctions, yay.